Welcome to another edition of the KTTH Roundtable, where Brian Suits and I talk about topics around a round table. The award-winning roundtable. It is an award-winning show. What award? We'll make it up next week. Who cares? Week. <laughs> so uh, let's start with the Washington State tire ban, which might go into effect. I don't expect it will pass this time around, but it probably will next time. They're essentially saying that the heavier tires, which everyone has because they're safer, they're less expensive and they work really, really well, it turns out, in wet weather and on hills, that they're bad for the environment. The heaviness means the car is uh, using gas more frequently. It's absurd, but that's where we're at. We're now at the point where Democrats want to just ban tires and don't really want to have a conversation about it. They don't want to really make this a big deal. And it feels like nothing's going to end until we replace these lawmakers, at the end of the day, these, these are political problems we have. And again, these are automotive engineer deals and you have non-experts telling them uh, that uh, no, um, uh, all, all cars are heavy, never mind their tires, it's a, it's a tiny percentage of the gas that they spend to get up to 60 Very miles an hour. <laughs> yeah, and... Um, well, here, here, but here's an interesting point. Les Schwab tires, which would benefit from this ban, because it's essentially forcing you to buy more expensive yeah. tires that you have to replace more often. They've come out against this. And they used to give away free beef, by the way, uh, really? Northwest uh, Institution. And they, they talked me out of more expensive tires once because I'm getting better economy with, with, uh, with mine now. And I don't want to get into a folksy anecdote of why California sucks, but I'm reminded when, when the Clean Air Resources Board, uh, not a board of experts, they, they wanted to ban black cars because they said it would save the environment because there'd be less air conditioning use. Oh and God. actual automotive experts said, no, no, the interior temperature of a car is because of the interior color of the car. You should ban black or something. But this is what happens when non-experts try to make expert law. Yeah, no kidding. What do you got? Um, the Department of Child and you. Children, Youth, and Families, DCYF, is under increasing, the more light they get shined on this agency, the most expensive agency in the state, mm -hmm. um, the less we like. First of all, you got the dead newborn in Port Townsend hidden in a bush. Now, if you're familiar with the um, youth detention industry, people who turn 18 in custody don't go to state prison. Because now they're in with the big boys, right? <clears throat> they go to the Green Hill a youth facility yeah. in Chehalis, which has been absolutely peppered with drugs and ODs and all this. And you can't trust the state on the numbers, but you can't trust Chehalis PD. The governor won't do interviews. He won't answer phone calls. He, he releases an answer on letterhead that for, for a question you didn't ask. Um, and and, and just, just for the clarification for people who aren't following the story, Chehalis PD and other in law enforcement, oh, they've been say, screaming yeah. from the mountaintops about how drugs are getting into this facility, sometimes by staff. There was allegations of illicit relationships between a staff member or a few and some of the kids there. So they've been calling for a special investigation. The governor says, oh, no, we don't need to do that. We've taken care of this, except there was yet another overdose. Yeah. There. And they have crazy overdoses where, like in one case, Chehalis PD had to administer eight Narcans to a to a adult human being who was in this DCY facility. Old, yeah. uh, and now they have a whistleblower who has said, yeah, the kids are the ones that are approaching me saying, we'll make it lucrative for you if you'll sneak in fentanyl. Um, so yeah, it's a burgeoning uh, scandal and we're not going to let it go. But I mean, my bar is a uh, newborn baby fentanyl addict uh, dead in a bush in Port Townsend, but there's an even, uh, there, there's more, more lower bars than that, if I'm not mixing my metaphors wrong. But other than that, everything is run perfectly in Washington State, and next week we'll bring you more details about how well the state is run. That's why we're award winning.